Pastorich here. This teaching will be on God's ways are not our ways. How do you know if you are of God? I wrote this December 3rd, 2022. Let's start with what is not of God. If your opinion is based on culture mixed with what you feel is right, it's not of God. If you seek to be politically correct and to please or agree with culture knowing it's wrong, you are against God. If you compromise the truth for acceptance, you are not of God. If you believe you are right based on your own opinion, knowledge, or experience, you are definitely wrong and not of God and have made yourself God. Proverbs 14 verse 12 says, There is a way that seems right to a man. And the terminology used for man is mankind. It uh, encompasses compasses both male and female. But its end is the way of death. James 4 verse 4 says, Do you not know that friendship with the world is enmity with God? Whoever therefore wants to be a friend of the world makes himself an enemy of God. Isaiah 5 20 Woe to those who call evil good and good evil. Is that going on in this world today? What God calls good society says it's bad what god says is bad society or culture says it's good god's ways are not our ways we can tell we can try all we want but no matter what we do or how much we give it a oh wait um we can try all we want, but no matter what we do or how much we give, it will never be good enough when it's based on our own self-efforts. The Bible says our best efforts or best works are like filthy rags. Isaiah 64 verse 6. If it were based on our deeds, then there would always be someone to outdo us. Think about that. And some would never make the mark because they have no means. So how, you know, there would be half of the world or more would never live up to it because they're living beyond the means, okay? To do anything worthy according to the world's standards. Since God's ways are not our ways, He gives us a way that even though we fall short, we are accepted equally in our works prepared for us before we were born. Scripture. If we choose to do them in Jesus by making Him the Lord of our life, He will lead us into what we must do. Proverbs 3 verse 5 says trust in the lord with all your heart and lean not on your own understanding in all your ways acknowledge him and he shall direct your path if you choose to live this way then you are of god and not of the world once you surrender your will to god psalms 32 verse 8 says i will instruct you and teach you in the way you should go I will guide you with my eye. This is God <laughs> saying he will guide your steps. Remember what I said yesterday or the last video about, um, or the video that I said that if there's a pothole in front of you before your foot hits the ground, God will fill it because he's guiding your path. Even if you're, you're stepping and don't see what's there or the potential harm before you, your loving God prepares the way for you shepherd okay jesus said but the helper the holy spirit whom the father will send in my name he will teach you all things and bring to your remembrance all things that i said to you 
John chapter 14, verse 26. Let me say this. How can it be brought back to your memory if you have not read it? You must read the scriptures. John 16, verse 12 to 13. I still have many things to say to you, but you cannot bear them now. However, when he, the spirit of truth, has come, he will guide you into all truth, for he will not speak on his own authority, but whatever he hears, he will speak, and he will tell you things to come. Before they happen, that's prophecy. In Revelation, it says the testimony of Jesus is the spirit of prophecy. Think about that carefully. Oh, some say prophecy don't exist anymore. What are you talking about? In Revelation, it clearly says. Oh, let's stay on track here. Okay, Galatians 5, verse 16 to 25. I say then, walk in the spirit, and you shall not fulfill the lusts of the flesh. If we live in the Spirit, let us also walk in the Spirit, be in the light. Ephesians 4, verse 22 to 24. Put off the old man, be renewed in spirit and mind, and put on the new man which was created according to God, in true righteousness and holiness. You see? New creation. That's what it means to be born again. Are you of God or of this world? A true Christian is in the world, but not of the world. Search your heart. I'm Pastor Rich, and this is Walking Ministry Online. God bless you.